Lucy and Mimi sing things. We like K-pop, vaginas, dogs and cats and giraffes. Woo! Yay! Yay! What up, y'all? What up, motherfuckers? What? It's your fave girls. Lucy. And Mimi. Sing things. We like <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to do a remix of that song that you didn't even want to jump in on that, so that's fine, whatever. No, no. <laughs> you can't touch what is already gold. Yes, that's true. We can't polish that turd anymore because it's already yeah. shining bright. And shining, amazing. shining, just like a diamond. Um, yeah. Why That's didn't right. you sing Rihanna's song, Shine Bright Like a Diamond, <laughs> Shine Bright, the beautiful scene? That one. I thought you were going to sing that, but then you sang something completely different, and I was like, okay, I don't I know. Say, I said, I, that was a song from EXO. Oh, was it? Oh, so I thought you were going to sing Rihanna, yeah. but EXO was fine as well, I suppose. <laughs> Shine Bright Like a Diamond. What up, y'all? What up, motherfuckers? Look, I'm back with y'all. I'm back with y'all. I'm back with y'all too. Point O. I mean, to them. Yeah, I'm talking to them as well. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking yeah. to them. Yeah. Um. Yes. So what up, Lucy? Not a lot. What up? Not- Have you been hanging around a lot? I mean, I've been going out a lot recently to You're going um, out a lot. Yeah, I just go to like places like um I go to Shin I don't go to Shinjuku. I hate I mean I don't ha- I mean I hate the train station at Shinjuku because it's yeah. so it's so busy. But I go to like always. Oh yeah. It's off. I go to like Shibuya and Harajuku. Yeah. Do you like do you like Ueno? I haven't been there yet. You you have to sh- to go. There's a hard rock there, <gasps> right at the station. Yeah, oh, I you should. should try. You should go. It's like go I with live. Someone. It's I, awesome. I live like pretty close to Wano as well. Like it wouldn't take me. It would only take like. I don't know. It's like just after Napori, and that's where I have to get off the train to like go to, like, Shinjuku and Shibuya Yamanoche. and stuff. Yeah. 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 Yamanote Yamanote line. line, and then yeah. So I should just stay on one day and just go to. To Wano, yeah. Wino, Wino. I um, want to go because there's like what a... else? There's a there's a great place. Um, what else? Have you ever been to Harajuku? Yes, I've been there a uh, many times. Uh, did you like it? I can't go there anymore because. Why? What? Why? Well, see, the the thing is, the other day I was there. Um, what it was like a. Right. I go there like quite a bit because. Obviously, you can get like I can get like vegetarian and vegan food from there, and I go there on Friday. Mm. Oh, that's I think it was last week on Friday. That's when I was there, because I go there to get breakfast after work in the morning on Friday right. because I don't have time to eat before I go to work because I have to leave so fucking early. So I was there, and I was walking back to the train station. But then I was like reminded, I was like, oh wait, I need to buy like some like pants and stuff, some warm pants because it's going to get really cold here. Mm-hmm. And right across from the train station, they have, there's that shop called the Gap. Gap, just from, it's, like, that, <laughs> <laughs> it's an American brand, Gap. Yep. And um, so I was walking towards it and then suddenly I saw someone standing outside Gap. I think it's called The Gap or Gap. I don't really? fucking know. But yeah, they... I think it's The Gap. But... The Gap. Oh, it is The Gap. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, Neither I don't do know. I, okay. <laughs> I was walking towards... Yeah. Who you ran into? I wasn't running. I was walking. Oh. I didn't, okay. So... I didn't start right. running till after. Um. So I was walking towards The Gap. <laughs> and since coming to Japan, I've been on like a couple of dates with people. Like the first one... Oh. Shush. Shush. The first one was this. That's rude. That is rude. <laughs> the first one, it was a this guy, and he was really off. He was nice to start with, but then all he wanted to talk about was Quentin Tarantino movies and how they were more complex and um. <laughs> yeah, I know. I la- I had to hold back laughter too. He all he wanted to talk about was how like complex and like 
deep and meaningful they were. And I'm like, I had to say them. I've never watched a Quentin Tarantino movie before. Maybe I watched Django what? Unchained and like that's it. But that was ages ago. And he was like, what? Really? But they're so like, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, I don't want to get into it. Because I did like a whole semester at university on Tarantino movies. And how like diverse and like how they represent the world right now. And I was like, okay. Mm -hmm. So he was offended. (laughs) He was like, is this a typical like straight white boy who got like offended if you did like Quentin Tarantino movies? And then... All he wanted, then for some reason he started talking about like some condom size survey and I was like, okay, it's my time to leave. And I was like, I have to go now. Um, I have shopping to do. And then the other person that I went on a date with was this girl who both people that I've gone out with apparently disappointed that I don't sound New Zealand enough. Like, I'm like, what the fuck? Because the guy, when I met him, he was like, are you sure you're from New Zealand? You don't sound like you're from New Zealand at all. And I was like, what? He's like, you don't have an accent. You have, like, a nothing what? accent. What? Yeah. He was like, you don't have an accent at all. Like, where are you from? You should have said Walmart to him. <laughs> then he would be like, oh, yes, she has, yeah. yeah. No. That's a, there's an accent. I'm never saying <laughs> Walmart again. So, they were both, di- like, they both were both disappointed. And I was like, well... You guys weren't fucking Japanese enough for me. Goodbye. I didn't say that, but I was just... Okay, but but you ran into which one? The girl. She was standing outside the gap. The gap, right? The the gap. (laughs) The butthole gap. No, she was just standing outside the gap. And I was like, I saw her and I was like, oh, fuck. No, thank you. Because I was like pretty, still pretty offended that she was like, you didn't sound like New Zealand enough. And you weren't like loud enough and I was like what like how like she said I didn't talk enough or I wasn't loud enough and I was like what the fuck does that mean so I was like pretty offended by that and so I saw her and I was like oh shit and she was like just about to like look up from her phone and I had to quickly like spin around and like run in the opposite direction (laughs) so I'm pretty sure she probably like saw me like running away from her and then I just like went to the train station and I was like yeah, I can never go back yeah, here. That's again. awesome. Dignity, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I had to keep my dignity intact as I ran away from her because, yeah. Yes. I wasn't you gonna. Did. I wasn't gonna you go. Over. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Round of applause for me because I <laughs> ran away. <laughs> but you like, ran away, right? I wasn't gonna go and talk. I was like, like. You don't say to someone, you didn't sound, like, Kiwi enough or New Zealand enough. I'm like, I don't... Because, like, the the guy especially was like, I watched a whole lot of interviews with, like, New Zealand people and you sound nothing like them. And I was like, do you have, like, a fetish or something for, like, people from New Zealand? Because that's really fucking weird, mate. Like, just because I don't Easy talk... Though. Easy though. <laughs> weird it's why would you say to someone you seems don't... like seems like seems like they both have like this thing for for, for um, new zealanders yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah it's weird i don't understand how if you've got a thing for new zealanders just go and like go on youtube i'm sure there's lots of clips of New Zealanders talking that you can listen to, but don't. Yeah, there ain't much. I already search. Not that well, I mean to it. That's weird. <laughs> that's a bit weird. Why are we friends? Because that's a bit weird. <laughs> do is this is this an accent thing for you? Is this a fetish? Is this something? <laughs> <laughs> is this is my way of speaking? Okay, a let's move here? on before this gets too weird. So, I would just like to point out to people that just because I'm from New Zealand doesn't mean I'm some sort of weird fetish thing for you. And that my accent, which apparently I don't have, isn't isn't for you. Right. <laughs> I mean, that was the worst. That was the most insulting part when they were like, you don't sound like a New Zealander. And I was thinking, how many New Zealanders have you even met, mate? So get the fuck off. Like, whatever. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Um, we'll see. I have some questions. 
um, some people sent some random questions. Ooh, girl. Pretty weird questions. Okay. Okay, so there, there's only like three questions, but they're kind of weird. Oh, God. Uh, they want us to answer. Okay. So here you go. Here okay. we go. Here we go. Okay. Uh, someone is asking if you ever had a crush on a friend's parent. A friend's... Mm. Let me just think. I never had. No. I never want to have also, but... No, because like it's... No, right? It's... it's I have never that's never happened to me or partly because my friend parents were never attractive enough for me to have a um, romantic <laughs> feelings for them but also that's just weird it's weird yeah exactly it's not even about the the part of, of being attractive or not but i think it's weird exactly it's kind it of is. creepy right it is kind of creepy especially if the parent also like if they it's sort of like if you started to just jokingly flirt with them, but then they started to flirt back. It's just like, d- no. Oh my god, it's so creepy. It's creepy. Like, you, and you, wrong. I feel like it's wrong. It's even wrong. Even though we're all adults. <laughs> even though we're all adults, it is. It's On some level, it is wrong because they're your friend's parent. And if you start to flirt and then they flirt back, it would just make everything uncomfortable because then you can't go to that friend's house anymore because the dad started, like, yeah. started... Or you would start going a lot more. Yeah. And then it's your friend is, like, thinking, It's, it's weird. Yeah. It's all just weird. <laughs> so no to that. That is a big fat no. <laughs> um, okay, so someone else has said that they like when we talk about sex stuff. Uh-huh. So apparently we're good discussing sex. Uh-huh. And they're curious if we ever had if we ever had sex. With each other? With each other. Yes, we have. Because they, they know that we are something. Because we... <laughs> <laughs> we have. Everyone, this and is... <laughs> we have, yes. We have. Many times. You've heard it here. Heard it first. first. Yeah. It ha- it's happened. Yeah. Why do you think I live in New Zealand for a while? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was the only reason she came over there. Yeah, and we lived in the same building. Exactly. I was living somewhere else, actually. In yeah. New Zealand. You were living... I was like, where... Where do you live? And she says, oh, I live... She said, I live in this building. And I was like, oh, okay. Then uh, one week later, I moved to the building. Yes. See? This is how you get girls, okay? This yeah. is Amy School 101. <laughs> you subtly move into the, the same building. And yeah. then you move from the creepy place. And then we were like, oh, my the... God, what are you doing after class? I mean, since we live so near, like, let's just hang out together. <laughs> yeah, since we live, like... Yeah, One let me just apart. sleep in your bed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's how it went. That's Mimi should write a whole book on how to seduce someone. Yep. Over like two months. Yes. Because she's <laughs> very long and slow with yeah. her. It's just at least exactly. <laughs> it takes a while, and then sometimes you think, "Is she trying to yes. seduce me, or what's happening here?" But it was. What's happening here? It was I want you to feel like confused, you know. I want you to go like, <laughs> but but what's going on? Yeah, you, you like know? to keep a, a haze of confusion over everything. It's exactly. always. You, I want you to be like, you know. I mean, she she kissed me, but it's been two months and she didn't say anything. Yeah. <laughs> what happened? Yeah, what's happened here? You know, I'm this confused. is this is what I do, guys. That's just what yes. she does. That's her <laughs> her her seduction <laughs> techniques. Whereas mine are a bit yes. more. Kevin Spacey, where I just put some pills and no, drink. No, stop, stop. I'm sorry, stop, that's Bill Cosby. Stop. Bill Cosby. I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. Yes. See, I was going to be, and it was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good. I mean, the, the okay. so the person said that you know. Wait, I didn't finish the question. So the okay. person asked if we had sex. We already answered, and she also asked um, if we had sex under the stars. Um. Yes. Because that's the most romantic place <laughs> to do it. Under the stars. Yeah, but let's be honest. When I went to New Zealand, it was like... What what uh, weather was it? I don't know. It was so windy and it was rainy. Oh, yeah. It was cold. It was, <laughs> it was really cold. When it was you... so cold. Yeah. That yeah, was... We couldn't do anything under the stars. And also, you can't really see the stars in Wellington either. Because it's... it's <laughs> there's two. It's two. I think the only place you can sort of see the stars was at the War Memorial Museum place that was next door to where we were living. 
but oh yeah well uh, that yeah just to be, papa <laughs> yeah see that and, but that would just be very disrespectful to everyone <laughs> to go and yeah because we this. respect it's, guys see yeah no matter what there's still respect, respect yeah. here okay okay <laughs> Next, Next question. question. Yes. Next and last. Um, so this person says that we are very crazy. We uh-huh. seem to be very funny and we're very crazy. Uh, and yes. they want to know if we ever mm-hmm. uh, blew a line of cocaine <laughs> off of someone <coughs> else's body. Um, yes. Because so this is a tough question. <laughs> well, <laughs> because wait, before answering, you have to. <laughs> I have to what? No, okay, okay, go on, go on, go on. Okay, see, so the thing is, a personal favorite pastime for us was doing blow out of uh, hookers' butt cracks. So, yes, we okay. have. Well, I think that was more of your thing. <laughs> no, you joined in too. You were there too. You were so you were so you were so coked out of your little mind. I had to, you know, take you home a lot of the times uh. and just. Put you in bed and say it's okay. The toads and yeah, the... I don't remember those things. Yeah, because you were so coked out. You were like, <laughs> oh, okay. Thinking everything was talking to you, <laughs> having sort of weird hallucinations about you know rocks telling you to murder, and I was like, no, sweetie, it's fine. <laughs> Pat your head, go to sleep, go to sleep, and then you'd you know you'd be sleep asleep for days and days because you're just you know so coked out all the time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay, now, would I you think like... we answer all the questions. See, see, they was perfect. We know exactly. We know each other so well. I know about all your dr- <laughs> you. I know about all your crippling drug problems, <laughs> and you know all about mine. See, that's friendship. That she is. knows, and she's still here. <laughs> yeah, I know, and I'm still, I'm still here, supporting you through your cocaine addiction. <laughs> yeah, though you're not addicted to cocaine. No. Thank God, because... The only therapy I'm doing is gay therapy, as everybody That's knows. That's right, yes. You're, you're still... Right. But besides that, I'm, I, I'm, I'm all clean. You're clean. That's good. That's good to hear. Because, I mean, I can stick around for the gay therapy, but I'm not sure if I can stick around for Mimi goes to cocaine therapy. <laughs> and has to talk about all her cocaine problems. So yeah. And also, what about you? Are you clean? Uh, yeah, I have never done cocaine before in my life. Right. I right, wouldn't. I wouldn't right. know where to find it <laughs> if. I'm pretty sure. What do you mean? What about that the little drawer in your room? That just had like meth in it, so that's completely different. <laughs> oh, okay. And I was more of a seller than a seller than a doer right. of the meth. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. So okay. I would, just, I would sell it more. Oh, okay. Just to to any to students who wanted to stay awake, children, because you know, try everything once, kids. Heroin, try it once. You might love it, or you might hate. <laughs> Don't. Hey, don't say no. That. No. Kids should experience it. Everything once in life. Heroin. Just do it once. Suck a dick. Just do it once. If and if, but if you like it, no. You, okay, sh- no. No. I was I was agreeing with everything, but the suck a dick, I won't agree. So you'll agree with children doing heroin, but you won't agree. Yes, but not sucking a dick. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. We yeah. have limits here. Yeah, and heroin apparently isn't one of them. <laughs> Children, <laughs> this is endorsed by Mimi to go out and do some heroin <laughs> because that's fun. But don't suck a dick. But you probably end up sucking a dick because once you start doing heroin, exactly, you're gonna be sucking a dick. This is for this heroin. is our message of hope. <laughs> Not really a message of hope. It's our <laughs> mes- it's our message of do crack. This is our once. message of hope. Yes, this is our Christmas. Stay message. school. Do crack at school because it's don't safe there. Suck dicks. Unless you want to suck dick to get some more crack, then probably <laughs> should. But that'll be no, a, no, no, no. That'll be a really hurried, a really scared sucking dick because you'll be. You Why know, are we talking about <laughs> sucking dick? Seriously, I don't know. I don't know how that started. I don't know because yeah. I. 
You don't know. I I know how this started. It started with you. <laughs> it always starts with you. <laughs> <laughs> that's rude, but that's also true. But um, yeah, because what I'd like to address again is the fact that you want children to do heroin. I think everyone <laughs> should be taking note of no, that. No, I don't. Want- <laughs> Think that you? I don't want anything, children. I don't. Okay, children. As someone, as someone who's been through both, you know, doing heroin and sucking dick, <laughs> I can guarantee you that none is good for you. <laughs> thank you for telling. Thank you for sharing that. That's good. So yes, okay. but at least you did it I feel once. Better now that I you, put this out. You did it once. So children, remember, do heroin once and then suck a dick. So you're welcome. You're welcome. This is life advice you can't get anywhere else except for right here. Exactly. See, our show is also a lifestyle show where we give out really good advice. Yeah. Yeah. We're like (laughs) we're like Oprah. We're kind of we are exactly like Oprah because, like a kiwi in a Latin. Japanese opera, see? Yeah, that's a good mix. We're covering a lot of races here. So... <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so we can, like... You know, we can... Imagine if, if we had a child. Like, if we somehow got right. our got our DNA and mixed... Can we... Can Right. I'm just, it would be white. So it would be... What would... what? So it'd be good at sport, because mm, it's white. Yeah. It'd be good at math, because it's Japanese. And it also... You know, be able to get some of but that. But the Japanese is is bred is is dominant, so it wouldn't be all completely white. It would be more Japanese. Still be good at math because it's mostly Japanese. There we go. Can also throw out some racial slurs when it wants, and it's will be fine. And also the 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 Latin part, it'll be good at dancing. So we have just created yes the perfect child. And also, it would be very it would it would be good at football. Yes, because it's white. Yeah, and dancing and shaking its butt. Because it's Latin. Because it's also Latin. But then also, it'd be really good at maths and all that stuff. All those stereotypes. And now, really now tr- let's be honest. Yes, exactly. All of those are stereotypes. But yeah. let's be honest now. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, as an Asian, I'm not good in math, at math. And yeah. as as Latin, I'm not good in, <laughs> in, <laughs> in, either, in either like dancing or... Or football or anything. So, see As, guys, see this is what stereotypes means. Yeah, it's all a lie. And as a white person, I'm good at nothing. <laughs> I'm good at subtle racism. <laughs> is all we all white people are good at is we're, you know. We know we've done some fucked up shit in the past, so we just you know we, we just, still low key subtly racist about things. <laughs> so you're welcome. <laughs> That's how Donald Trump became president. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. But no, if we did have a child, I'm trying to picture what it would look like. We should do that that thing where you put two photos and then you merge them. Yes. We should and then see yes. what our child... Then we will post. We can post on our Instagram. So everybody what follow child. us there and you check out how, how our baby yes. will look like. Though, what we could do is we could mix our DNA and then get, like, a black person's sperm. So then we've literally covered every single yeah, race. I think I think that they, would be better. And our baby will also be able to sing along to every song and say the N-word and it wouldn't be a problem. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. We have designed the perfect baby. Mm. You're <laughs> welcome. You're welcome, everyone. I think that's a good I think I'm still yeah I think that's a good idea we should look into doing that later on in some point okay let's wrap this shit up okay let's wrap this shit up so thank you for listening okay so Um, kids remember see you next time kids remember to suck a dick once do some heroin once just try everything once and then right Tell your parents it was all Lucy's idea. And Mimi's idea. All right, guys. (laughs) No, no, no memes. Yes, yes. Make sure you blame her too when you've got this crippling heroin problem. 
So you're welcome. You're welcome. Tell your parents to contact Lucy because I. <laughs> Please contact both of us at our email account, uh, 69ingsquirrels <laughs> <No>. <laughs> at gmail.com. So please contact us both there. And we will be happy that to... That email probably, probably exists. And so someone's going to send... Oh my God, no, some please don't. To that person. Don't send them any emails. If that is an actual email, don't. Don't send them any email. Saying, I'm thinking of trying heroin once. Any ideas? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Imagine oh my someone... God, let's finish this. Let's finish this before Mimi gets thrown in jail for inciting heroin use. Okay. And okay. See you next time, guys. I don't know what we'll be talking about in the next one. Just whatever. More you, shit. Yeah. Usually before we start, we have some idea, but then it just goes off the rails into, like, yeah. territory. That's why today we didn't have any idea. We were like, whatever, you know? And it was fine because it was hilarious. It was fine. See? It's even better. <laughs> yeah. When you, that's what you also have to do. Don't make a plan for anything. Don't plan in advance. See, okay. that's, that's, it's, that's motivational, guys. Yeah. That's how you yeah. probably will wind up doing heroin because you didn't plan in advance your day properly. Yes, and that's exactly how you end up sucking a dick also because you didn't plan it. What? Yes. Okay, guys, let's, that's true. No, let's finish this because it's getting too weird. Yeah, it's getting a bit too strange. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.